Well, what a week it's been. Um, but you can guess a lot of the subjects we're going to be talking about this week already. But <laughs> I think we have to start off with this. Um, this um, is by uh, someone from The Guardian. It's the opinion piece. And it's Tory MPs beware. If you whip up an angry mob, they may end up angry with you. This is true throughout history. You know, I, I say this now, Johnson, if you're going to, uh, and you know, Cummings, if you're going to make people angry, beware where that anger goes. Because that's going to come back onto you sooner or later. Um, as we have said from the very beginning, Brexit is not going to solve the fundamental problems in this country. You have been promising um, since the beginning, like many Brexiteers, that this is somehow going to make the country better when it won't. Because all these problems are still going to persist. And this time, you won't have the EU to blame it on. So, drawn increasingly into darkness and rage, the UK government uh, functions as a promotional tie-in for the controversial Joker movie, out next week, kids. Think of this as a Tory conference chaser. For now, it's great to see everyone's favourite political incel break cover, as Dominic Cummings makes a surprise appearance among the chaos to announce, We are enjoying this. Such a self-styled anti-hero. He used to think uh, what happened to his Brexit was a tragedy. Now he knows it's a comedy. The, less, uh, the last clip ends with Cummings blowing a kiss to the news cameras. A reminder that politics allows some people to play out a wishful version of themselves that would be laughed out of town anywhere normal. In any, uh, in any uh, sane area, Dominic Cummings is the answer to, to the inquiry what would happen if you shaved Quentin Tarantino's head but kept everything else much the same? He is a political geek, as one of his friends, uh, Tim Sharp, uh, Tim Sharp for his book All Out War, uh, Dom watched uh, Bill Clinton campaign the documentary, The War Room, I'd guess about 40 to 50 times. He would sing the theme music. The missing Dom years were basically spent in a bunker under the uh, under the Pennines, watching the war room on repeat, and yet here he is blowing kisses, giving us uh, not a hot movie villain. You can stand down, Hollywood, and the spade in in uh, in, in guts got this covered. It is uh, it is thanks to Cummings that the Palace of Westminster this week remembered a sort of meth-addled Hogwarts, and yet the Conservative MPs cling to him even though they know he hates them. More on those imbecile henchmen later. Only a political incel could rage in entitlement against Project Fear, yet orchestrate senior allies of Boris Johnson, including a cabinet minister to inform Friday's Times that there would be a violent popular uprising if they don't do what he wants. Thank you, Anonymous Secretary of State, for treating the public like an angry online forum. Save it for your 10-page manifesto you mailed to the newsrooms. Of course, this thing about incels, metaphorically and otherwise, is at the huge part of where their self-mythology is, is, is claiming they represent the unheard. Uh, is unheard, the, Claiming they represent the unheard. Oh, there we go. The reality is that people really listen to their shit. Consider the case of the man accused of driving a van into pedestrians in Toronto last year, killing 10 people, who wanted a police video released on Friday that he'd uh, start an incel uprising with it all. Nine days, nine days after um, that mass murder, I read an extremely serious column in the New York Times that used the event to discuss the redistribution of sex and its author put it, sometimes the extremists and radicals and weirdos see the world more clearly than, res than the respectable and moderate and the sane. Well, it was an admiring woe from me. Men's rights is wild. 
these guys really get stuff done. Women have been fannying about for decades asking peacefully for their rights, but we still can't be in charge of our own bodies. Ten people get killed before the fortnight's out, and there's a, uh, a, cha a chain stroker uh, in the world's uh, leading liberal newspaper wondering how we can address the needs and concerns of the suspect. Like Cummings, the big thinkers who pander to these uh, instincts are never going to be the ones that get hurt. Just the guy who wrote, uh, who wrote that, the New York Times op-ed, truly has my blessings to go off and wank off whatever inadequates he likes as a public service to stop the male terror storm or something. I, sus I suspect he thinks it's a job for ladies, not his problem. He's trunked, he, he trunked the think piece and it's up to the... Uh, to <laughs> up to the patsies to enact it there is so much uh there's so much uh this or th there's so much of this to cummings people versus parliament the brand of politics but the patsies the tory mps are yet to catch on while most women could read that the new york times column and work out what that basically meant for them a lot of conservative mps are dutifully spouting cummings lies they don't yet seem to have worked out what this what this will leave them but listen, Tory Mooks, I'm here to help. While you're getting that tiki torch and standing post, let me tell you what a People's versus Parliament election ultimately means for you. First, if you whip up an angry mob, why do you assume that they won't end up angry with you? Do you think that the mob is going to come upon an MP and go, wait, wait, this, this is so-and-so. He voted for uh, meaningful votes two and three. So we should, you know, definitely not put up our pitchforks uh, <laughs> they not put our pitchfork up his ass. Eventually, uh, you're going to get a pitchfork up your ass either way. To adapt that phrase um, of the alt right to whom you attack uh, closer to every day, mobs don't care about your feelings. If you had to come up with an adjective to help you understand mobs, it would be it probably would be mob like, very mobby, mobtastic. If you go uh, to the to the country in a people versus parliament election you may indeed get elected be part of a triumphant tory majority but when you have been elected and when you've got quote brexit done which is to say you've either taken the uk off the off a no deal cliff or opened up uh, the next however many painful years of trade negotiations and uh, and uh, and did and did did a repokery which is never going to solve the problems it is magically supposed to you then are the parliament the even angrier people are then versus you that's when they come for you because you asked them to you invited it in i didn't know if you'd ever heard this line that the revolution devours its children that's you second i know you've already uh, had you've already read one uh, uh, you've already read one uh, hang on, there we go. Uh, second I know you've already uh, read about one war but bad news it's the wrong war uh, you need the first world war not the second by the way for a crash course of what Dom's planned for you uh, taking the line of Blackadder where the, uh, where the uh, general brays to the, to the guys he's helping over the top We'll be right behind you, and Black Adam mutters about 35 miles behind you. You're the cannon fodder, you're the 20 minuters, but hey, enjoy it out there. Third, as obvious, uh, as blindingly obvious to anyone else, Cummings is one of those masterminds who hates his henchmen. He hates the Conservative Party, he believes it's surrounded by idiots. Again, that's you Tory MPs. What's amazing Given all, uh, given he's written off all this stuff down, and at length, is the is the select deafness of the Tories going along with it? They hear the sound of Dom is saying about uh, things being swept away, but what they don't hear is about the bits that will eventually mean them. Consider the irony of the European Research Group currently obeying a man who described them as a narcissist delusional uh, sunset, adding, "You should be treated like a." <laughs> Like a, measure, like a metastasizing tumour, and excised from the UK body, body politic. It's not a hugely opaque statement. More modern conservatives should realise what they're travelling with is, is this stuff. What Some people just want to watch the world burn, 
but <laughs> watch the world uh, watch the world burn but cummings will burn it all down you bow to them at your peril his and ours and that's incredibly true um cummings has a massive plan and um sooner or later that's going to be turned on the conservatives um you think you hate momentum now i suspect that's what cummings plan might actually be to set up a conservative uh, momentum um and yeah cummings is gonna uh you know you think the conservative party is bad now wait until cummings is done <laughs> you know but yeah that's completely 100 percent absolutely right um if you take it to a people versus parliament vote and you screw up which you will uh, everything about a no deal brexit which again these guys are claiming that they want now is is absolutely terrible and yet it's not going to solve the problems of the uk and then what happens to all these angry people you know you promised them that would be sunlight greenlands and lit uplands that's not going to happen and once again the uk will become a sick man of europe and we will look back on the years of uh, when we were in the European Union and say, God, it was better when we were back in the European Union, wasn't it? And as I keep on saying, if we are, if we leave or we are forced out by these people, we will be back sooner rather than later and a lot quicker than a lot of people think. 